welcome to the second part of this tutorial today we are going to add the animation on the design we created on the first part this is the final result but we are going to achieve at the end of this video this is what we have created on the first part and today we are going to create auto image sliding animation and other animation on this design so without wasting any time let's get started open selection pane Click on any object and open format shape. Now go to animation tab and open animation pane. Select this text group, rename it text and select container as well and group them, rename it center text. Now open other large triangle images, correct their stacking order. We can hide color scheme. Now we can start adding animation on the elements. Select last angle 01 and apply fly in effect. Change this direction from top right. It's really fast. We have to increase its duration. It should be around 1.25 or 1.50, whatever you prefer. It's working fine. I'm happy with it, but we are seeing other images beneath it. So we'll have to apply same animation effect, fly in and change its direction from top right to match it. And rather than on click, change it to with previous and apply same duration 1.25. Now everything will work correctly. Yes, they are moving all together. So we are done with the large shape. Now select a small triangle, apply fine effect as well. Change the direction from bottom left. Apply same duration. And rather than on click, it should be with previous. I want smaller triangle to reach its location after the last triangle so apply a little bit delay we could try 25 it is timing on delay I'm happy with it select large line shape and apply split Change it after previous and apply 0.64 on duration and delay can be 0.25 or so. Yes, I'm happy with it. Select small line and apply same split effect. I want it to be play with large line, so change it with previous. It is a smaller line, so we have to apply a little bit delay. Now play and check it how it's working. Actually, I don't like the transparent look of this container. Select it and remove transparency. Select center text and apply zoom effect. It should be after the all other animation we have created till now. Now play. Yes, I'm happy with it. Now it's time to add the auto image lighting effect, which is the most effective animation we created on this design. Select last angle 01 and don't apply animation. It's because we have already applied it. We have to add animation. It is a second animation and now go to the exit. When it will exit, this effect will be applied. So I am going with fade. 
see its exit with fade so we are able to see second image we need to increase its duration delay should be 0.50 or 75 as well so there is a sufficient timing on it change it to after previous i have selected this last angle here it will show animation from here rather than showing entire animation now check it yes i am happy with it now select image to and go to the add animation and apply same fade effect change the animation after previous duration should be 1 for 25 and delay should be 25 or 50 whatever you prefer now check it it's looking good now select third large triangle image add animation and apply same fade effect on exit change its animation after previous rather than on click duration is going to be 1.25 and delay will be 0.25 so we are done with all the animation click on the slide so i can and check it on slide so mode click on the arrow tool to play the animation Select first last triangle 01 and add a delay. I'm going with 0.75. Now check animation on slide so mode again. So we are done with the tutorial. If you are happy with the design, I request you to support the channel by liking the video, sharing it, and subscribing the channel. Thanks for your time.